Joining us for more in a Closing Bell exclusive, Stash CEO Brandon Craig. Uh, Stash is a mobile stock investing app uh, and Robinhood competitor. Good to see you, Brandon. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. It's great so, to be here. So quite a lot of uh, people claim that they are really for long-term investing and not for day trading. Uh, qualify that for us. Well, wh why does that really hold true for you? Yeah, I mean, we're not a day trading app, and we never have been. I mean, we started Stash from the beginning to be focused on long-term diversified investment. So we don't offer margin. We don't offer options trading. And we only trade four times a day. People use Stash really in three ways. You come to Stash to invest in things you understand or believe in with advice from Stash. You can come to Stash to invest in smart portfolios, which is a managed account that is um, diversified to your risk level. Or lastly, you can use the Stash debit card and become an investor every time you spend. And it helps you become an owner and invest in your world. So really, from day one, it's always been about how do you help people that have never had access to the markets and do not have financial education, start. And that's the most important thing here is getting people to start and get on a journey of long-term wealth creation. So have your sort of account opening growth numbers in the last 12 months, uh, I'm sure they've been strong, but have they perhaps mm -hmm. lagged some of those other players that, whether it's Robinhood or E-Trade or, or so on and so forth, which are more exposed to the day trading? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great question. Um, the last year for Stash has quite frankly been incredible. We've uh, seen more than 100% increase in uh, new account openings. We have almost 6 million uh, customer accounts now. We've seen our assets surge up to almost $3 billion of assets under management. The thing about our assets uh, that's so different than a lot of wealth managers is that the average deposit onto Stash is $31. So you're seeing lots and lots of people put away small amounts of money, which are starting to add up to be big amounts of money. And we've seen a major increase in the number of stock rewards that people are getting on the platform. I think the most important uh, part of your question for Stash is that the conversation about GameStop and the meme stocks has also brought uh, a more awareness around the lack of financial education and the lack of access that so many people have. Because it's great if your friends are talking about GameStop, but most people have no idea what to do. They don't know what a stock is. They don't know what a ticker is. And a firm like Stash with the focus on the long term, really does help people start, and our minimum is $5, and get on a path of not only learning, but quite frankly, doing it at the same time, which is incredible for so many people. Well, one of the questions also around GameStop, specifically, Brandon, was how, how long these traders were in on this stock for the ride. Is it a day trading phenomenon, or is it a longer term play? What's, what's the exposure like among your clients? Yeah, I mean, look, our, our clients have access to buy GameStop and the meme stocks, but we wrap it in education and advice. The, w the worst thing that we could see at Stash is that one of our uh, customers puts all their eggs in one basket or uh, puts their life savings in a single stock. It's just not what Stash is there for. If somebody wants to buy GameStop, we do provide education. We provide a lot of guidance and advice around what is the risk around the exposure you're going to have and what is volatility. And we teach it to you. So you can get a good understanding of what happens, you know, if it goes down or if it goes up. And so we are seeing a lot of people own it, but it's definitely not the only thing they're buying. And what's really cool is a lot of people come because they're interested in some of the meme stocks, but they end up buying something that's very diversified or they buy multiple investments because all of a sudden, you know, the, the hundred plus million people in America that are not investing are finding out that they can do it. And it's really cool. And it's really like, Quite frankly, it's invigorating for people to know that they can start building wealth, not only for their futures, but in their retirement accounts and in their kids' accounts. And it's really about access, which is the most important thing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.